How do dogs shake themselves dry? And do all animals do it the same way? We'll try to answer this bewildering question by using our high-speed cameras. And it appears that everyone will get wet, not only the animals. Everybody and everything will be wet, even the props and the studio walls. This will be the last time they let us come back here. But what can we do? Sacrifice for science. There's water everywhere. This is one of those rare occasions when the high-speed cameras fail to tell us anything new. But the devil, as usual, is in the detail. Once an expert takes a look at these shots, he'll drown us with information. A dog twists its skin along this radius. Then, when it changes direction, the water flies off. The dog can then stop this movement, and we can still see perfectly the drops on it moving. Well, in terms of frequency, probably it's somewhere around about 4 hertz, a magic number for dry dogs. This is how many movements per second a large dog can make it to get itself dry. After that initial wave was created near the neck, the muscles closer to its tail begin to work in the opposite direction. The dog seems to twist itself like wringing a towel dry, but this is primarily so the animal can keep balance and not move. By the way, this brings up the question, do all dogs, both long-haired and short-haired, shake themselves the same way? In fact, yes but it's much harder for long-haired dogs to shake themselves dry. They retain more water and it needs to keep a sort of reserve for the movement around its radius to get the water off the longer fur. Obviously, the droplets have further to slide off, so it's easier, of course, for the short-haired dogs. You can clearly see how a dog sets this in motion with its neck, and after the neck, the ears begin to twist, but that's expected, as it can't exactly dry them separately, and then the rest of the body. But the neck is a very muscular part of the dog's body. It's where this rotation begins. The movement has finished, but the tail is still going. Yes, the tail is still moving. Cats also use this method for shaking themselves dry. For the record, contrary to popular belief, they also swim like dogs. This sounds funny, but cats swim using the doggy paddle. Though one thing's for sure, cats don't like shaking or swimming, or water in general. They can very meaningfully demonstrate this with their whole body.